right, first day in the new rig, first trip. We're going to stop and see how heavy we are. There's a scale right before we get on the interstate, so we'll see how heavy the truck and the travel trailer are. Okay, I got your weight, but you need to pull out before you come in. Okay. <sighs> All right, uh, well, the truck's 9660 and the travel trailer is uh, 7520 I believe is what we come down to. So 7,500 pounds. It's actually That's not, bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, our tanks are only, I don't know, third, third full across the board. So we're not completely maxed out with water weight. So yeah, pretty and impressed. empty were what, 65? 6450 empty. So we only have uh, about a thousand pounds worth of junk in there, so not too, not too shabby. That was easy. Yeah, easy. and beautiful today in Jupiter so we left the campground and we're coming to explore some of Jupiter's beaches. Brittany's gonna lay out and I'm gonna actually uh, set up my mobile command station. I brought a power pack and the hotspot so I can crank out some work while uh, she does nothing. Yeah, we Par for like the course. those like ridiculous forests that are bringing our entire travel trailer to the beach with us but here we go. Here it goes. We'll show you the water. It's absolutely gorgeous. about to leave Jonathan Dickinson State Park here in Jupiter, Florida. We really love this campground. Um, we wish we could stay longer, but they were booked for the weekend, so we are leaving and we're heading to the Everglades. But we just wanted to give you a quick tour of the campground. The sites are really spacious. Here, let me show you. The sites are pretty spacious. They all have a picnic table, grill, a fire ring, and on the other side, We've got full hookups, 50 amp electric, water and sewer. Charlie's just packing up right now. They're all pretty spread apart, so you have privacy. There's not a whole lot of trees, so not a lot of shade, but you do have quite a bit of privacy. And plus, our site number 11 backs up to nothing, so we have nobody behind us, which is really nice. Um, the bathrooms, there's one there. There's one there and I think there's actually a few more and they're really nice and Charlie's gonna show you around the men's room. Um, yeah, it's been a really great campground. Um, we'll give you a quick tour on our way out. like the campground is actually pretty wide open so um, we took one of the spots near the front hoping that we can use the booster and pull some cell service right now we don't have any um, but we're gonna get set up and then we'll um, show you what we come up with okay we're all checked into our campsite and we've cooled off it must be like 15 degrees warmer than when we were in Jupiter it is really hot here yeah and we're driving down here and Brittany goes we don't, I didn't have gas for the generator. We don't need, we don't need gas. It'll be all right. We'll, we'll be fine at night. It'll be nice and cool. And I was like, uh, I like picked the last gas station before we got into Everglades National Park. And uh, thank God I did. Because yeah. as soon as we got here, she goes, fire up that generator mm -hmm. and turn on the AC. So hot. you might hear the home out the, out the side because we got the generator running. And it's also running our cell booster. So we have absolutely no service here in, uh, Everglades Easy. National Park. No service right now. Uh, you walk over here to the cell booster. I just pulled it out of the um, cabinet here because I was testing to see it, it, it ranges by distance how far you get oh, away and there boom there goes T-Mobile LTE. 
So uh, it's not super fast, but at least we can check emails, um, get out some Skypes and stuff like that. So uh, this this is a WeBoost. This is the Drive 4G XRV. Absolute lifesaver if you're gonna work from the road. For us, uh, we've now had to have this in, what, three or four different places. Cedar Key, Steenhatchee, uh, Everglades and I think that's it. I think that's it. So yeah, three places three that we've had no service, and then at least we're able to to get some service. Uh, Cedar Cedar Key it worked really really well uh, because there's no service here at all. In fact, when we pulled in, the camp attendant said, uh, "Don't even bother with T-Mobile. It doesn't work out here." Uh, she has it. She goes, "I don't even bring my phone because it's useless." And sure enough, you fire up the booster and uh, and it works. So really really impressed with that. We are gonna go shut the generator off and we're headed out to uh, go check out Everglades National Park. trail which seems to be one of the most popular ones in the Everglades and so far we've seen like 10 12 gators at least all kinds of wildlife turtles Anahinga uh, bass yeah uh, what else hmm. anyway I must say we're from Florida we're used to seeing gators all the time Charlie's parents get them in the backyard but I'm still pretty impressed it's yeah. really cool just watching them in their normal habitat considering how many there are here it's pretty crazy yeah I said Brittany's a lot like an alligator because she doesn't really like activity unless there's food involved. And that's pretty much what a gator does. They lay around all day and wait for an opportunity to eat and then boom. And True that's story. a lot like Brittany. I won't argue that. Okay, we're back in civilization. We left the park this morning and we're taking a drive down through the Keys, currently in Key Largo, which is only about 40 minutes from the campground. Uh, we're probably not going to drive all the way to Key West because we've done it numerous times and it's like a three hour drive. I think we're going to head to what, Robbie's? Island Murata. Island Murata. One of our favorite things to do down here is to go feed the tarpon. Oh. 